How's it going guys? Stick around just to watch me unbox this new Corsair Graphite 220T. series 220T case. Uh, this is the one in white, they do also in black as well. I think it only got released um, in the next past couple of weeks. It's a nice low budget mid tower case. So we're just going to have a quick open up and do a quick unboxing for you so you can have a look. So let's just open up the side here. Got my trusty uh, Stanley knife. Just open up there. I've got it on my uh, Lazy Susan here. Uh, if you don't have one of these and you're building PCs, I would definitely recommend it because it makes it so easy to spin around your system while you're um, getting it, while you're uh, obviously you've got all the parts and stuff like that, you know, doing all the cable management. So, I'm going to open it up, put this Stanley away, and it's going to flip it upside down so then we can uh, slide it out dead easy. So, here we go. Oops, I'm going to pull these flaps out on the sides because otherwise they'll get stuck on the air. Boom. There we go. Now, just for a quick look at the box, I actually forgot to uh, mention what's on it, but standard affair, 220 case. Told you a picture of what colour you picked there as well. You've also got how it all fits together on the on the side there and you got the specs there but anyway that's pretty much all you get there most of you won't be uh, seeing that anyway until you actually get it uh, so flip it back up nicely packaged you've got the styrofoam here just going to take that out okay. not to ruin it because i do have to return this one once i've done the quick unboxing flip on its side upside down there we go take that off and on the bottom here the 220T, like a little uh, manual for it, and then we've got the bag itself. Loosen that, flip it back that way. There we go, take it off. Okay, I'll just have a look at the manual first. So, manual, pretty standard stuff, loads of different uh, uh, languages, and you've got the what you get in the uh, in with the case, all the different parts and stuff like that, how it all fits together, you know, basic kind of stuff. It's quite a basic case, so it's not too hard to put together, which is always good to see. Um, so I'm just going to put it on my little stand here, my Lady Susan, and you can get have a look. Alright, so on the top, we've got the um, mesh filter, the magnetic mesh filter there. And it also has the uh, two USB 3.0 ports, you've got your power button. Uh, you've also got your headphone, microphone jack and a reset button there on the top there. So this is the, um, <coughs> the dust filter, which is again magnetic, dead easy, dead simple. Just flip it out, put it back in, really easy to remove. Uh, from the front here, we've got this cool kind of um, effect here of, uh, well, it's a metal, it's not plastic, it is metal, so it's quite a thin metal and you've got a nice see-through kind of mesh um, that you can, um, you know, you might like it, you might not, it's um, each to their own. Uh, on the back, standard fair, you've got your three PCIe slots, you've got your power supply section, and um, here we've got a tempered glass um, side panel there. So I'm just gonna try and remove this tempered glass side panel. They should only be thumb tight, which they are. Now I've got one there, got a side here as well. Really nice looking case for the money. I think at the moment you can click on the link in the description. Uh, they'll take you straight to the product on scan.co UK. Um, and it's about £88 or something like that at, at the time I'm filming. So yeah, be very careful with that. In the full glass sheet, it could easily pop off. It's going to pop off over here so it doesn't get damaged. There we go, because it could crack pretty easily. And then there's the inside of your system. So as you can see here, we've got, you know, everything, the thing about Corsair cases, it's very easily laid out for cable management. That's the best thing about them. So I'm just going to take out the black screws. Well, they're a bit tight. I'm going to have to get a uh, screwdriver for that one to bear with me. Okay, so I'm just unscrewed them with a the screwdriver. And then I'm just going to take off this back side panel there. So 
can also have a look at what's going on on the business end. Um, so let's go over the front first. Yeah, really easy cable management of course for cases. So you've got some fans included. Uh, they're quite generous. They give you three um, RGB uh, fans at the front here, which is quite generous. Um, you don't get a Rio fan, but you can also obviously have one on. You've also got room for two uh, 140s or two 120s at the top here, which is nice to see as well. So they thought about everything there. Um, you could fit a full size ATX motherboard in there. Bit of a squeeze if you wanted the ATX, probably won't fit. You've got nice grommet holes here, so you could put your uh, CPU uh, 8 pin up there as well. They thought about that. You know, it's a really easy shortcut there, so you don't have to trade pin it over the motherboard. Uh, you've also got a grommet here as well, uh, from power supply straight to the graphics cards. Really nice to see, 24 pin will go in there. You've got some other ones here, again, or you could use them for graphics cards within the front. Very nicely done. You've got mesh filter there, if you can see on the inside. Uh, so if you have a fan on your power supply that blows up, or you can have a fan that blows down, because at the bottom, you have got a power supply gap here, and you've also got a dust filter as well, which is always good to see. Um, so you can just take that out, give it a rinse under water, um, so you don't get dust all up in your system. So that's cool. Um, so if we flip it over, go back around this side, what you'll see here is your hard drive base. So you've got two 3.5 inch hard drive base. One of them comes with a, um, it's like a little accessories pack, so if we just have a look in here, what we have, let's open it up, accessory pack, there we go, so yeah, you get some screws, grommets, washers, uh, zip ties, anything you need really to fit the uh, board into the system, you've got some other ball standoffs as well, uh, dead easy stuff, simple stuff you get with a case really, and obviously a 3.5 Mill, um, hard drive uh, caddies, but these are also about as compatible with two and a half inch SSDs as well because um, you've got little holes there which you can screw in the side, so dead easy stuff. Um, on the back as well, you've got the uh, all your cables and stuff, so you've got your HD audio, USB, all that kind of stuff. You've got here is two 2.5 inch SSD mounting brackets, you can mount them on the back if you don't want to use up these, um, you know, so that's good to see um, and that's pretty much it and you've got some um, I don't know what these are I think these are what are they fan controllers because um, I know it's got the oh yeah yeah so these are your fans on the front plug into there and you can control the RGB with them as well so that's your SATA power for that kind of control so that's cool um, and then you've got your uh, 3.5 mil now it's good to see the with the USB header on the early Corsair cases, for those USBs at the front of the case, you have to put them in, plug them into the back USB, you know, motherboard, which is just a bit janky and you have these cables sticking out. But now they're all using USB headers from your motherboard, so that'll go straight to the motherboard, dead easy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Really nice white case if you like it. Um, the front mesh panel is removable if you, because it's got a, um, filter on it, a, uh, was it a dust filter? So let me see if I can figure out how to take it off dead quick. Okay guys, I figured it out. It's a lot simpler than it actually is. Now I am, this is literally a live unboxing because I'm doing it as I'm learning as I go along. But literally, you don't have to take this grey panel off. This uh, metal piece, which looks pretty cool, you can actually just completely unclip that. Dead easy, and it's the full piece of metal. You know, which is quite cool because you've got the uh, the Corsair album uh, emblem emblem isn't actually cut out; it's actually painted on. So it's a bit strange. They would have thought they'd cut that out. Um, but the the cool thing about this is you can actually paint this like sort of another colour that you wanted if you wanted to. But makes it easy to paint. It does actually put a metal thing going on there. And you also get this really cool um, Corsair dust filter as well, which can be easily removed. You literally just have this little thing here at the top. Unplug it, and it's magnetic as well. You've got these little magnets there at the top. You could just clean it under the tap, put it back in, but then you give you access to your whole fans, which will make, if you ever want to change these fans, will make a change in it really easy as well. If you did want to fit a 360mm uh, CPU cooler, it can be done. You could put it at the front here. The only problem is you couldn't put the fan, uh, the third fan down here, 
you know, so you'd have to put two farms there and then they'll kind of push out into this bit. It, I reckon it'll fit as squeeze, but you couldn't put a fan down there um, if you have a thin radiator because not much clearance there. So you could do it that way, but I think ideally for this kind of case, you'd just want a 240 mil um, CPU cooler that goes up the top. That'd be the easiest way to do it. But yeah, nice little case, I like it. Very clean, very simple, very easy to use. Again, for the price, the link is in the description. Um, if you want to just put this thing back on, I'll just show you that. You can literally just clip it, clip it in like that. It's so easy, easy as that. And then with this, you just um, fit it back onto there. And it just clips in like that. Dead easy. All right, guys, so I hope you like my quick unboxing and uh, first look at the Corsair 220T white case with RGB. Um, I'm just going to do another unboxing soon of a white GeForce RTX, what is it, 20, 2080 Super, which will look good in this case. Um, and I'm just going to power that um, on with my test bench and you'll see what it looks like. So I've just plugged in the case fans to my test bench just to get an idea of what the RGB fans look like. But here you go, pretty snazzy how it looks like when it goes through that uh, mesh grill there. So uh, don't forget to subscribe guys, hope you like my video and hit the like button and click on the way to buy link if you want to get it. By the way, if you're wondering what that graphics card is, that's the new white RTX Super 2080 Game Rock by Palette.